why do we get a mental picture when reading? Hello and welcome to How Possible. Before watching this video, subscribe to this channel for more amazing videos and also hit the bell icon to get free notifications. Have you ever had this question? That why do we imagine all the pictures and scenarios when we're reading? Here's the thing. When readers can picture the reading only then, they're able to understand it to a greater extent. Good readers construct mental images as they read a text. By using prior knowledge and background experience, readers connect the author's writing with a personal picture. Through guided visualization, students learn how to create mental pictures as they read. Here are some facts and reasons. 1. Your brain is very active. Reading puts your brain to work. Reading is to the mind what exercise is to your body. It gives us the freedom to roam the expanse of space, time, history, and offer a deeper view of ideas, concepts, emotions, and body of knowledge. Robert Bellano says, Reading is like thinking, like praying, like talking to a friend, like expressing your ideas, like listening to other people's ideas, like listening to music, like looking at the view, like taking a walk on the beach. Your brain on books is actively growing, changing, and making new connections and different patterns depending on the type of material you're reading. As you read these words, your brain is decoding a series of abstract symbols and synthesizing the results into complex ideas. It's an amazing process. Don't forget, only active brains can picture things out while observing or reading. 2. Your brain is organized. Human beings invented reading a few thousand years ago, and with this invention we altered the very organization of our brain which in turn expanded the ways we were able to think, which altered the intellectual evolution of our species. Our ancestors' invention could come about only because of the human brain's extraordinary ability to make new connections among its existing structures, a process made possible by the brain's ability to be reshaped by experience. Reading involves several brain functions, including visual and auditory processes, phonemic awareness, fluency, comprehension, and more. The same neurological regions of the brain are stimulated by reading about something by experiencing it. According to the ongoing research at Haskins Laboratories for the Science of the Spoken and Written Word, reading, unlike watching or listening to media, gives the brain more time to stop, think, process, and imagine the narrative in from us. So if you can visualize things, it means that your brain is formulated and organized. 3. Your brain is functioning in a better way. The reading process plays an important social function. While reading fiction, you mentally imagine the event, the situation, the characters, and the details described by the author. It's a total immersion process. Your brain conducts a pathway to different neurons which help the brain to function and produce mental pictures. So while reading, your brain is actually exercising. It performs its work effectively because when you're reading, your brain's in full concentration and every part of your brain is playing its role to keep you active. In fact, research has shown that reading is key to boosting our own mental capacity. Reading results in many brain functions. Whether it's visualizing, auditory functions, and comprehensions, about a third of our brain is specialized in analyzing things that we see. This part of the brain is also known as the visual system. This system is based in the cortex, the folded surface of the brain. Areas of the visual system lie in the occipital cortex and parts of temporal and parietal cortices. So it's the third part of your brain which keeps everything in function when you read. If you're able to picture things, it means that your brain is great at functioning and it's not blind mentally. 4. Your imaginations are strong. We keep reading because the writer has managed to engage our imagination. In short, reading has stimulated our imagination to create a new world in our minds. Imagining beyond the present or to what the researchers refer to as distal imagination is integral to our ability to consider a different space and time. It's also what enables us to empathize with others and to consider another person's point of view. For most people, it's difficult to transcend the here and now, but creative experts are able to imagine distal experiences much more vividly than others. They draw on a neural mechanism which other experts may not be able to engage as easily for this type of thinking. So if you're able to visualize pictures while reading, then you're mentally intelligent and your imaginations are strong. 5. You have a creative mind. 
So when you picture things while reading, this means that you have a creative mind and you use the left side of your brain mostly. It's responsible for the control of the artistic and creative side of you. When we think about creativity, the arts often come to mind. Most people would agree that writers, painters, and actors are all creative. This is what psychologists who study the subject refer to as Big C creativity, publicly recognizable, professional-level performance. Remember, only a creative mind can produce creativity and strong imaginations. These two things are directly proportional. And scientists study that only a creative mind can result in the most creative responses. Hence, you might see mental pictures.